Hi, and welcome to my new tutorial about uh, Java Swing. In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a J password field component. So basically, a J password field serves for password input or for secret input. So let's start. I already created my new class called J password field tutorial, and now I'll start with coding. And as a top uh, level container, I'll create a J frame. I'm also checking this new version of uh, IntelliJ IDEA and I must state that guys from JetBrains are doing their job very very good in last time. You should try it too. Okay. Uh, now let's create a J panel too. And now I'm going to create my J password field. Password field will be name of instance. And uh, here I can pass a uh, width of my J password field in columns, and it will be like one. Also, let's create a single J button. A button. Okay, and text will be like uh, perform track, and you will see that later why why I did create this button. Now let's make constructor. Okay, and let's uh, add password field and button on our panel. Field. Let's add button. Okay, and uh, now let's add our panel on JFrame. Okay, and let's call standard methods for JFrame. Okay, now let's uh, run this application to see what we have. Okay, it takes a bit. And here it is, as you can see, our J frame with J password field and J button here. And if I try to type in some text in my password field, you will see these characters appearing inside. And uh, first property I want to show you is how to set this so-called echo character. And you will do that basically by calling uh, set echo care method. And here I can pass some character like asterisk, for example. Now let's run this. And now if I try to type in some text, you will see these asterisks appearing inside of my J password field. Okay. Uh, next uh, thing I want to show you is basically how to perform track. Basically how to retrieve password from your password field and how to compare that value with some correct value. And for that purpose, first thing I'm going to do, I will add action listener on my button. Okay, and uh, you could simply use, uh, for example, get text method, but uh, that's unsafe since uh, strings are immutable. This method returns string, and strings are immutable, 
So that means uh, when you create some string variable and when you assign value to that variable and then you assign some another va uh, value to that same variable, all value still remains in so-called string pool. And uh, because of that, strings are, well, basically unsafe. And uh, so we won't use this method. We'll use get password method, which returns array of characters and also I'll create some array of characters and I'll assign value from this get password method which returns this method and the uh, name of array will be like input okay now I'm going to create a method where I'm going to perform a check whether this password is correct or not and the method will be like private uh, boolean it will return false or true and name will be check check if correct and it will take this array of characters as an argument uh, in it. Okay. Uh, now what I want to do is to create a single boolean, uh, boolean variable like is correct and I'll initialize this variable by assigning value of false. Okay. Now I'm going to create uh, arrays of array of characters which will represent my correct password. And name will be a correct pass. And it will be like one, two, three. So basically one foo and uh, three is correct password. And now I'm going to say uh, if first thing I'm going to do is simply to compare lengths of these two arrays. And if lengths are unequal, I'll immediately say it's false and I'll return this is correct uh, as false. And I'll say if uh, input length is not equal to correct password length uh, is correct is false uh, if that's true I'll say actually in else part of my if statement I'll say else and I'll call method from arrays class called equals and here I'm going to compare these two arrays input and correct pass array uh, I'll say like this is correct equal input and correct pass okay so if it's true basically if uh, uh, these two arrays are equal it will return a true value and if they are none if they are not equal it will return false value and finally uh, before i return my is correct uh, value from my is correct uh, variable i'll have to zero out my array so basically i'll have to delete all traces of my real password so basically i'll say arrays fill and first thing I'll pass is correct password so this is correct password and to zero out your, your correct password I'll say like zeros I'll assign zeros okay and finally I will return is correct okay that's it and now I'm going to call this method in my uh, action perform method of my action listener in but so name of method is check if correct and I'll say empt okay I'll pass that as an argument and I'll just put this in my if statement for example so if it's true I'll say for example j option pane uh, show message dialog parent will be null and message will be like uh, password 
is correct. Okay. And in else block of my if statement, I'll say j option p show message dialog no and message will be password is incorrect. Okay, now let's run this to see what we have. Okay, now let's uh, try to type some random text, for example. And let's click this perform check. And as you can see, it says password is incorrect. Now let's try to type in, for example, uh, 111, where lengths are same, but the password is still incorrect. And it says password is incorrect still. And now let's try to type in real password, I mean correct password. And that's 133, and I'll say perform check, and it says password is correct. And that should be it when it comes to J password, J password field. Uh, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.